Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a bedroom in Photoshop. So first you're going to start by finding the furniture you want. I found all my furniture from Pottery Barn. I found my rug from Home Depot and I just saved the image and then you're going to drag the image into the Photoshop icon. There's a few different tools you can use to get rid of the background, but for right now I'm just using the select tool and then copying and pasting. Once you do that, go to edit, transform, and scale. Scale will allow you to make the image bigger and then perspective lets you change the perspective. So in my case for the floor, I'm going to make it look like it's an actual floor by dragging the corners straight up. If you drag the corners in, it'll make it smaller, and if you drag the corners out, it'll make it wider. So now I'm using the paint bucket tool, and then I went over to the color palette and picked out a color for my walls. For the back wall, I'm gonna select the end of my rug and just drag it up, and then get a lighter blue. I'm using the polygonal lasso tool i don't know if i said that right and what that does is it's like a more manual selection tool so you just click around the image that you want okay and then i copied and pasted it and put it into the room and now i'm just making it bigger by using the scale tool and now i'm just gonna erase what i don't want by using the eraser tool and make sure you're on the right layer Every time you copy and paste something, it should make a new layer. So now I'm doing the same thing with the desk I picked out. So now I'm using the skew tool. It's kind of like the perspective one. When you go to transform, it'll give you a bunch of uh, a bunch of options. They all do similar things, so you'll see me bouncing around from each one. Now I'm just renaming my layers so that I know what's what. So now I'm just putting on a bulletin board that I found. And then I found this bean bag uh, from Walmart and this one was pretty easy to cut out. This one I didn't really have to transform or anything because it was already at an angle that I liked. This is obviously optional. I found a mirror that was already kind of slanted so that I didn't have to do much work to it. I mean, you can see that I did some work on it. Right now I'm cutting out the reflection of the mirror so that I can put my own reflection in the mirror. So how you do this is you screenshot your room or the part of your room that the mirror would be reflecting. So in my case, that would be the side of the bed. So then I took my screenshot, dragged it into Photoshop, and to reverse the image, I went to image, image rotation, and then rotate horizontally, which will flip it. And then I copied and pasted it, and I put it under my mirror layer, and then erased all the stuff I didn't need. So then I change the opacity of the screenshot to make it more dull. I hope this video was helpful. Now you can go and make your own rooms, and if you're feeling up to it, you can make a different type of room, like a kitchen or a living room.